everybody, Gwen Lawrence here. Today we're going to talk a little bit about back to basics as far as some of your yoga moves go. Now when I'm teaching, I often notice that some people really don't know what chaturanga is. They kind of flow through it. They don't know, even if I cue them with the word low push up, and they really don't know the shape of it, what it's supposed to look like. And I want to give you some tips today. I think a lot of teachers kind of assume you know some of the most basic moves and that's not always the case. Sometimes you can go on for years and never having really, really, really been taught some of the basic um, alignment principles of poses. So I'm going to show you Chaturanga and a really good way to learn it and become super comfortable with it is with a strap. And when I show this to teachers, they just love it because it supports you and it feels really, really super good. So you're going to get a strap, quick release, or just any kind of tie and you're going to make it a circle and you're going to make that the width of your shoulders so that when you put it through you're locked into shoulder width apart which is one of the basics of chaturanga so we start in plank and put a little tension so it doesn't fall with nice alignment and plank and i think one of the things about chaturanga that's most frustrating is there's not enough strength to really hold it so you just kind of pass through it and go to your belly all the time. This is going to help train you to know where that alignment is so that after a while you're going to understand exactly where to be. So again, plank pose. You're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to lower it down. Now in your chaturanga, you're trying to get a 90 degree angle in the elbow. So that means you have to move forward a little bit. And with the strap here, it makes a nice hammock for you. You could stay here all day. It's awesome. Hands flat, fingers spread. And then move a little forward so you can see that 90 degree angle in my elbow. And then untuck your toes and come into your upward dog. You could also hold it in down dog. So you could do several reps and really get the feel of it and hold it without forcing or struggling with your strength. So that's my back to basics tips for, tip for you today. And thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.